Hi guys, so coming off from my previous video where we created a, a Gmail business account without using our own domain, um, once we come into our Google Workspace admin console, our Gmail still won't be working and we won't be receiving any uh, emails coming into it uh, until we update our MX records. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So what it is, is we actually need to update our DNS records you know, with our service provider and by doing this we will activate Gmail. So if you come into your admin console for Google Workspace, um, it will show you that, that you need to set up your MX records to direct business emails through Gmail as well as get a custom email address. So we have already set up an email address. So we can just go ahead and click on set up MX records. So once we're in here, it's going to take us through the steps that we need to follow. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and select activate Gmail for the domain. And it'll say route your emails to Gmail inboxes. Click on activate then it will tell us we can set up our gmail for our business domain that we that we have and it will just tell you to make sure that you are sure that you want to direct all your mail to your gmail domain and then i'm going to click on i'm ready to activate gmail so once so the first step what we're going to need to do is it's going to ask us to sign into our service provider. My service provider is AfriHost. Uh, you'll have GoDaddy or any other similar provider. And then it's going to ask you to go to your DNS settings. So if I just click on here, it will take me to that. And then I'm just going to need to log in and I'll go to hosting and then I need to find my DNS editor it will be on different places depending on who you're with go on DNS editor and once I'm in here I'm going to need to edit our MX records so if I go back um, I can now click on next go to step 2 and then it says add the Google MX records, review your existing DNS records, and delete any non Google MX records that you see. Create a new DNS record like the one shown in this example. Choose MX for the record type, enter at in the name, host, and alias, and leave this field blank. Um, And that's what we need to add. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to copy that. Go over here. So there is a MX record here that we actually need to delete. I'm just going to click on that. Well, let me just go here and click on delete. Remove. And now I'm going to click on create new record. And I'm going to click on MX and um, priority it was one. Let's go back and check priority one content. I'll just paste this over here. And TTL one hour and 
and we can create sorry I think this ETR oh, let me just go back here this is actually 14 401 let's update that cool and if we go back now it's gonna ask us to add the rest so if we go back Let's do create new record. MX priority five content. I just need to copy that back paste detail same create. Okay, next one, create new record. MX, this one is five as well. Content, need to go back, copy the next one. Go back, paste. So again, 14401 and create. Thank you. And then the next one, create again. MX, and this one is 10 need to go and copy this again paste that over there and create and then last one create new record mx and this one is 10 as well content and just go over here you can just copy that paste that in there and create Okay, cool. So now we've created the five MX records uh, to point it to Google. And we can come back here. And once you've added all the MX records, it should look similar to this, which it does. Open over here. And then you can just come back over here and you can click on activate Gmail. And then it will check that everything is correct and great so that's that's all you need to do and then once that is done your email should be working and you should be able to receive all your emails going forward thank you for watching uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Cheers. Bye.